Today, Dr. Nichols is taking vet tech Shelley on her first ever ranch trip. They're heading to the edge of the Roosevelt National Forest, one hour north of Denver, to make a house call on a horse. I've never personally worked on a horse. I've been around horses, but not a whole lot. So this is a new and exciting thing for me. Hello. Hi. Good. Good, how are you? Good, I'm Tamara. Rachel, nice to meet you. We're here today at Hearts and Horses. This is a nonprofit organization that uses horses for therapy for people with special needs. We work with all different types of individuals with disabilities. So we have a veterans program, we have a youth at risk program, we have a program for individuals with Alzheimer's and dementia. One of their horses, Varsity, has a little growth on his head and they've been concerned about that, so we're gonna have a look at it. This is Varsity. For the past five years, Varsity has been working with Colton, who has autism. So you didn't see Colton on the ground, but this is a very calm place for him right now. We've gone from him absolutely being terrified, huge tantrum, to what you see today, which is balanced, poised, very confident in his ability to ride, his ability to use his words. Okay, let's reach high again. <laughs> this is the one therapy that we would no way give up ever. It's really special to see Varsity doing his job. The last thing you'd want is to have something happen to that horse. Good boy. So he's had this little lump up here, huh? Yeah. Horses don't get these very often. We're concerned that it may be precancerous. Yeah. Could be an abscess or injury to the head. It could be a benign or a cancerous growth. I can't say for sure, but that's something we can remove today. And then we'll know for sure. Therapy horse varsity is being prepped for surgery by vet tech Shelley. Nope, I've never clipped a horse before. You ready? How's that feel? Good boy. Certainly just draining it is the least invasive, um, but it could easily recur. Um, taking it now, we'd just be done with it. And one strong advantage of that is that it's small right now, so it'd be easier to take off surgically. Where are you going? Where are you going? We could remove that with him standing. We just have him under sedation. He's eating my belt buckle. <laughs> well, we'll give him this injection here. That is gonna help keep him quiet enough. It's fine, it's fine. And oh. okay, okay. We did kind of a crazy dance to um, give that injection where all three of us were walking around together, but um, did get that in. These medications, their head will drop down. They tend to just plant those feet. Um, meanwhile, the rest of the horse falls asleep. This is in the same family as what you would get at the dentist office, and it's gonna numb that skin. So the first step of this is to make an incision around the mass. The face is very vascular, so it can look dramatic when you do surgery on the face, but there wouldn't be any significant blood loss from that. We want to maximize the amount of skin that we can save. And then we'll just go ahead and dissect that mass out from the underlying tissue gently with the blade. Right now, I'm just trying to absorb some of the blood coming down so it doesn't drip into Varsity's eye. My paper towel's filling up pretty quick. In terms of vitals, because he's standing up, we know he's uh, breathing and heart yeah. is beating. <laughs> he's also moving his head around a little bit. So. What we're mostly looking for is that we have him in a reasonable plane of sedation. If he starts getting too light, we'll top him off. Okay. So we've got the cyst here. It's more of a concern if these are firm, um, but because this one is soft, I think it's more likely that it's something benign. So that's good news. Dr. Nichols was able to get that growth out. Just a really, really smooth operation. So we're going ahead and closing the incision here. He's waking up just as we're cleaning here, so I'm really happy with that. Good boy. Oh, it's my... Uh limited experience being around larger animals. This was a great experience, and I would love to do it some more. You did so good, you sisters. Did good. You did the so good. 
Last step is we will send that mass off to the lab and they'll do a biopsy of that so we can know for sure that this was a cyst and that it was benign so we don't have to worry about it regrowing. I think it looks good. Yeah, mm -hmm. that should heal fine. Nice and clean. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I'm so pleased that there are people that can support us in this manner. We are really reliant on community support. I know Colton's going to be so pleased that this lump has gone as well. This is one of those places where you're just in a little bit of awe by how much they do. It just makes what you're doing feel great and just seems like it's so important. Hello, this is Liz. Hi Liz, this is Shelly over at Planned Pethood. I'm calling about Varsity. It was just a dermal cyst on Varsity's head. Oh, it's just a great sense of relief. So good news for Varsity. Thank you very, very much.